hard after cancel culture. I go hard after the offended. I go hard after COVID. I go hard after universities and teenage kids and where we're at and LGBTQ2 and racism and all this other stuff that's that's uh, been shoved down society's throat in a military style. And but I think I do it in a funny, common sense manner that no one's that I don't want people going, yeah, stick it to them. I want them going, oh, I never thought of it that way. Um, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely not it's it's definitely not like a you don't get a sense when you're watching you. It's just all it's all a, it's funny. It's not like political, you know, political whatsoever. I, I never I don't know politics. I know I don't get involved in politics. So it comes out next month. So let me tell you what happened to it. So originally, so I started Patreon. This is the only reason I, I, I did not want to do Patreon. I just put that out there. Uh, but now I'm glad I'm doing Patreon. So originally I had it on a I just listen, we're we're older. My generation, they just want to go, how do I get the special? Click right here. Click. Done. How much does this cost on my credit card? Done. All right. So I had a great site. They're, they played big concerts, all that jazz. Guy's a big fan. He's like, Jim's going to be great. I had a big email list already pre-ordering. Then I made uh, a Facebook video about three weeks ago. And God told me to serve you and make you laugh at a young age. And I've been doing my best to listen since. And I'll be damned if I'm going to force people to get a jab to come see me just to get through some therapy, some laughter, and some hope. If I got to play a hundred, if I got to play a 40 seat someone's yard, I will. So no Wellmont Theater and no Royal Oak Theater. And the other entertainers will choose what they need to do, but I choose not to. And I just said, hey, I'm going to cancel some venues. All the venues that just announced you can't come see my show unless you're vaccinated, I'm out. I'm canceling. And you would have thought I I beat an elderly woman to death on video with some of the people foaming at the mouth, losing their minds. CNN and and Twitter and CNBC. I got a lot of publicity, uh, and then it, I I there were a couple gigs that had to be. I had some nice gigs with a very uh, um, that are coming up that I couldn't do so long story short the platform goes jim ah, I, we, i'm gonna give you an email list we can't we can't host this you are creating the problem i know someone i talked to yesterday their child is sick the doctor won't see them because they didn't get a jab well guess what that's not a doctor that's a tyrant. Why not? It, we, you know, uh, we're, we're in bed with a lot of big venues and a lot of big companies. And basically we're looking at, you know, do we keep our 50 billion or do we, it's just, we, he goes, now I'll give you some suggestions of where you can go. I said, all right. He goes, I wouldn't go there because they're in bed with so-and-so and they're going to they're gonna stifle you too. It's immoral, in my opinion. It's soulless. You're segregating. You're creating hate. You're creating judgment, which is all unmoral and unethical. And I cannot stress that enough. So all of you that know it's right, you know it's right. You keep doing what's right. So, and they're going to, 
they're going to stifle you too. I said, okay, he goes, go to Patreon. He goes, Patreon. I said, I don't want to do Patreon because then people just see monthly and they go, I'm not paying monthly. And that's the way I would think. So that's what led to going to Patreon. So to go to Patreon for one month in November, yes, it says pay monthly, but then you just cancel. You get my special, you download it, you get my extra videos, whatever, and then you cancel it. If you want to stay, you stay. Now, you, during those runs at the Stress Factory, I will never forget, I came back to the green room and you, your eyes were this big and you would go, for like, you went, Jesus Christ, what the, what the fuck, dude, you gotta, you gotta film this, like, you just, you do, you do characters, you do, you do, voice. you tell stories, you, you just, you got to, I've never seen anything like that, like, I, 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 dude, I travel with this one and that one, they, they don't have what you got, you, you got, like, I've never seen anyone just murder like, and dude, you got to do a spat. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? And I went, all right. He goes, no, you have to do I that. know. I, even when I left, I was like, I was <laughs> too much. I was on the train home. I was like, I go, why was I yelling at Brewer? I was actually ye- yelling <laughs> at me. You were yelling and your eyes were so intense, but you, you were coming from a place which so, you were so sincere and you were so serious. You're like, Brewer, I'm t- I'll film the, f- I'm telling you, you have to film this. And Brian McKenna, about a month before, um, I played this gig and he goes, you, you, you got to put this out there like now. I said, you think he goes everywhere we go, they're going ape shit over your, like they're going ape shit. You have to get this out there before it's too late. And so, you you put the nail in the coffin. I, I will never forget that green room speech. You you were just the fuck it. You gotta do this. You know, you're crazy if you don't. And then and you're, you're looking at me, you and then you stopped talking. You just were looking at me, and I thought, I thought Brewer thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> no, it's just I, I I was like, okay, so but the special the special comes out next month. You can only get it on Patreon. Somebody right. had a, you know what? Thank you, Kevin. Cause you are the one that gave me that extra nudge. And like, you really put the nail in the coffin. And so th- this is a huge part of it because of you. So thank you. Uh, you're welcome. And, but I, I remember I literally came home and said to my wife, I go, I go, I, <laughs> At first, I said, I said, <laughs> Brewer is like on a different fucking level. And then I'm, and then I said, and then I, he probably thinks I'm crazy because I wouldn't stop talking. Like, I, I, was, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't shut up about it. I'm like, dude, no, seriously. No, you, I'm not just saying this. I go, you got to listen. And you were sitting in that stupid chair in Vinny's green room. I go, you got to listen. Like, you got to put this shit out. This stuff is fucking gold. Like, you got to. So I, so I was like, I don't, he either thinks I'm crazy. Or, no. or he's, you know, what I, one of the two, he's there. They go, I got to do what Brennan says or, or Brennan's crazy. Listen, I know you. I know you a long time. For you to even compliment somebody <laughs> is. That's true. A ferocity. <laughs> For you to say that's worth checking. I, I, so I listen to you very. And even like when I talked to, when you talked about Barry earlier, Barry doesn't have to come see me every time I'm there. So I do take that with a high compliment. And when you said that that night, I knew you don't say that about people. I know you for right. a long. Right. I took you very seriously. So thank you. Thank right. you. Thank you. And um, I will thank you on uh, Patreon as well. You know, let me tell you something about celebrities. And let me tell you something about some big, big sports stars. If you honestly knew what some of your favorite big superstars really did behind closed doors, if you knew what your favorite late night talk show host did behind closed doors. 
If you really knew what your favorite radio star, TV star, newscaster truly did behind closed doors, none of us are perfect. We all do weird things. We're all freaky and weird and crazy. But if you knew, you wouldn't follow. I'm just glad I'm putting it out there. Because I fe- it felt good. That material, I've never in my life saw people react like that to the stuff that I'm currently we're doing. And it's going to be a bummer letting it go. But I already got the new hour and, and stuff. But I have to say a huge pinnacle was you. Hands down, without a doubt, you are a driving force about this special that comes out next month. It's called get- Some- I better get a thanks in it or something. I'm kidding, of course. That was the first compliment he gave somebody in 20 years. So you should be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's it called? It's something. What, somebody had to say it. Somebody had to say it. And you know what? That's what everyone would say after my show. They're like, yeah. I, so you know I, what I liked about it the most was that that you're not a topical comedian, but it was all topical. And 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 everybody that was talking about the topical shit, the COVID shit, was all trying to do it like in a like, you know, in a mon- monologist kind of a way and either one side or the other side. You made it like a bit. You made it f- like funny. And like the like I remember this, the, like if you're six, you can be six feet away, but you can't be five feet away. Like just the way you were like acting that out was like really funny. And everybody else was doing it not in a boring way, but in a typical like you know, sarcastic, but you were like, you, it, I don't know. I don't know. I was just, I was kind of blown away that I just thought you could, first of all, you got to do it now. Cause it's topical. A lot of it that I saw was topical. So I'm like, put it out now when it's still fucking hot, when yeah, people, yeah. it's still on people's minds, you know? Yeah. Cause and I don't so- think any, I, cause I, I, you know, we don't have to have the same politics to realize that like six feet apart is okay, but five feet's not or four feet. You're going to, so so all the shit that you're making fun of, like, was really hitting home with the audience. And I was like, wow, this stuff is like, I just thought you got to get it out now, you know, because people are going to love it no matter because people don't know your politics. They don't think of you as a political. I mean, maybe now a little bit now because of the, the, you know, because of the uh, the stance you took. But for the most part, but I, I think that'll help sales anyway, long term, the stance that you took. Not that you were taking it for a sales pitch. Or no. you know to, to to move records, but I think long term it'll give you uh you know it got it got your name out there more than it probably had been and and oh, without, I mean, without a doubt and you know what here's the thing that boggles my mind I don't see it political whatsoever I just see it as common sense right. I see it common sense if you if you think that what I'm saying is political please do tell me where in politics that lies it is pure common sense it there, there's no other to it no matter where you fit so if you feel like you should be vaccinated to get in a venue is that politics like what is that well where do you stand is that liberal is that conservative like, is that democrat is a republican i just find that is what is that or or i just i i to me, and I don't care what anyone thinks, I don't care. You should never be forced, ever, especially with what they're pushing. There's no <laughs> comment to it. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna have to take this part out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, you'll get more publicity in that last minute than you did for the entire <laughs> I knew he was going to do this when uh, when Kyrie Irving started featuring for Jim. I knew that this was going to happen. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I remember working out those nights, and everyone's favorite was always you, Kevin. I still hear what? from my friends. I still hear from the friends that would come see me like that night, Kevin, when that guy was funny, that what, and then some people don't remember the name, like who's the, the one night we went there one night, a guy, 
he was he was like uh, I, he had like an Irish name like Kevin Brandon like yeah oh my god, god they loved you so I'm being honest I don't All have to right. tell you that. I appreciate it no I appreciate it and, no but I was just I, saying because I I'm just saying that because I didn't really see you know like like you said when you came to New York you basically you basically hit quick and so I never really saw your stand up like I would see you audition once in a while I'd see you at the comic strip like doing but when I'd see you do these long sets of Stress Factor I was like. I was like, I, I was, I was kind of uh, taken back. I was like, who has this skill set? Like nobody really. Like, I mean, Chappelle, I guess, but no, no white guys can, like, just they do carry. You do characters. Your jokes are funny. You, you know, you, you, you're charismatic. So I couldn't think of anybody. And that's why I told me and Barry Ribs. I was like, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck Brewer has going. But it's, I don't know anybody who. Like I just don't I I it's I don't I just don't see anybody who capped who basically it, just the crowd is just like literally sitting there listening to your every fucking word. They don't even go to the bathroom. They were outside. <laughs> they were outside a stress factory. It was cold. They were outside in a tent. Nobody went yeah. to take a piss. I was <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? Until you said until <laughs> you said one more story, and I guess a couple people got up. They're like, oh, I guess it's over. We should take a piss before there's a fucking run on the on the uh, bathroom. Well, I'll tell yeah, you they this: just, they never left, and they that's a that's a good sign. Well, I'll tell you this: I have a special coming out next month. Yeah, and yeah, plug that and your Patreon too, right? Yeah, but I want to tell you about that and how it came about. You are a huge part of that. You are. I am. Uh, and so. Yeah, it comes out next month. And I was, I'm not going to lie to you. I was a little, not nervous. But I'm like, mm, some of that material. Mm. But now after Chappelle's special, I went, ah, I'm in the clear. He just, <laughs> he, he just, <laughs> cut the, just cut the news for my special. Thank you, David. Yeah!